Oh, we've got some very nice people, young people, from North High School in Torrance, and we welcome you. We're delighted to have you here. 176, plays nothing. Marcy, come on. Now, the first family to get the 300 points, and you're well on your way there, darling. We'll play for $10,000. Marcy, there's a good moment for you to get your family in the game. You betcha. Okay. okay. 100 people survey. Top five answers are on the board. Here's the question. Name something you do with old clothes. Salvation Army. Salvation Army. Nice thought. Good. That's a good cause, too. You got the number one answer. And... Thank you. That's so cute. You darling, too. Are you married, lady? No, I'm not, Richard. No? no. Ever been married? Yes, I have. Yeah. yeah. With children? No. Ooh. <laughs> Man of my own heart. Oh, oh, oh my. Mind if I partake of another? Oh, yeah. uh, something you do with old clothes. Store them away. Okay, let's take a look. Store them! Well, not there. Lady Elizabeth? Oh. Uh, see, you're so prettily dressed, you've never had this problem, have you? I can see it. Uh, give them away. Oh. <laughs> That's the movie. Give them away the movie. Part two. Can't think? Three seconds. Um. Elizabeth. It's okay. It's okay. This is just a game show, Elizabeth. Right. There's no prison term going with this at all. Is that possibly for me? Okay, Richard, uh, rummage sale. Ah, uh -huh. good thing. Rummage sale? Good idea, too. Huh? Something to do with old clothes. Okay, Richard, how about redo them? You redo your old clothes. Redo them? Yes. You mean alter them? Yes, alter them. Oh, okay. yeah. I like the technical terms. <laughs> You see a sign up on there, you say, alterations. It doesn't say redoer, does it? So I like to get the proper name. The alterations up there, Donald, okay, if not third strike. Alter them. $62 up there. Dan, you can get in the game if you give me the right answer. Nick Rand. Nick Rand. Nick Rand. Okay, you hand them down to other members of your family. She only said rags. Hand them down. True. <laughs> she, she can make rags. What? No, hand them down to the next member of the band. That's what I, my brother always did that. Oh, I hated that. Because we were poor, we had no money. That's what my brother was five years old with me. He'd wear a suit and deliberately wear holes. <laughs> Here, there, and under the arm. Split all the same. And my mom, God bless her, would sew them up and she'd say, you look great. I'd be like this. <laughs> arm up like this. I say, are you sure? <laughs> The girls won't go out with me, Mom. She said, you look fine, son. I grew up thinking my mother couldn't see. Uh, you want to hand them down? Sure. Not right. Hand them down, you get the money. If not, you get it, darling. So hand them down. <laughs> Number two. <laughs> not only new Ted Knight show, but new rag. Yeah. <laughs> Number three. Oh, uh, five. Yeah. Two thirty-eight. Nothing. Let's go. Dale, I don't have to tell you. You got to get in here because there's so near three hundred points. Dollar values are doubled. One hundred people surveyed. Top four answers are on the board. Here's a question: Besides doctors and dentists, name something you make an appointment for. Yeah. Lawyers. A lawyer! I love him. Two answers will be there. Something uh, you make an appointment for, apart from doctors and dentists. A clergyman. Okay. Are they busy? A lot of busy? I guess, yeah. Yeah. They would be, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sending all those clothes to Iceland, I guess. Clergyman? <laughs> Not there. What are you going to do? Play. We're going to play, Richard. You're going to play, my love. Okay. Going back there. Well done, Dale. <laughs> what do you do, sir? I make an appointment for a haircut. Oh, that's an excellent answer. answer. Yeah. What was your answer again? Oh, haircut. Yes, haircut. Fine, John. Fine. No good testing. <laughs> haircut? You got it! Yeah. Beautiful. How long have you been a cop? Seven years. 
How long do you have to go before you get pension? What do you do? 10 years? 20 years? No, we do uh, 20 years and then we have to wait till we're a certain age. Before they pay you? Right. We have to wait till we're 55. If you went in at 20 and you worked to 40, just the 20 years, you could die between 40 and 55. That's what they're counting on, probably. <laughs> I can't believe that's a crazy. I've never heard of that. The pension they hold on to? Yes. Oh, we'll bring that up at the next election. <laughs> Thank you. Some doctors and dentists uh, have an appointment. Um, I would say uh, for the, the the people who do the repair on your house to come out, uh, like a plumber. All right, fine. Good answer. Plumber. Okay. Oh, first strike, Shelley. Besides, doctors and dentists, something you make an appointment for. Well, I know for to have my car worked on. Okay. Mechanic. All right. Yeah. Have the car repaired. Yeah. You're a good player. So is Marcy. Um, would a psychologist be a doctor? I'd think probably, wouldn't it? Um, yeah. No shrink um, is all the same. Um, how about, like, with the telephone company to come out and put in your telephone? All right, my love. If that's that, you're okay if not second strike. Telephone company. Dale, besides doctors and dentists, name something you make an appointment for. Two strikes, but only one answer left. A real estate agent. Okay, sir. Okay, yeah. If that's there, you got it all. If not, they get a chance to be the champs. Real estate! <laughs> Vivian, there's $146 Job dollars up there. <laughs> Need an answer. Job interview. Job interview. If it's there, you'll play for $10,000. If not, Dan, you're in the game with 146 Job interview! I thought it was Dan, how can they sing so pretty and be so rotten? <laughs> we got no money there at all. We got nice prizes for you. I hope you had a nice time. Thank you very much. Thank you for being here. Look at you. Thank 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 all righty, off you go. Carl Hearn, Vivian, are going for ten thousand dollars right after we watch this. Hello, my love. Yes, yes. We have ten thousand dollars for you. You and Vivian, all you need, two hundred points. Fifteen seconds, please. Name something kids pressure their parents into buying. Toys. Something people lose at the beach. Clothing. Something is made to be absorbent. A pass. A food you boil. Potatoes. Something you get the news from. The newspaper. Something that's made to be absorbent. <coughs> Turn around. Here we go. Let's see how well you did here. What do kids pressure their parents into buying? You said toys. That's a good answer. Survey said 30 tips. <laughs> Something people lose at the beach. You said clothing. Survey said zero. That's why you've never seen nudes at the beach. <laughs> so we've made you to pass on that. A food you boil. You said potatoes? A little time delay is a different thing. Yes, thank you. Bye. <laughs> potatoes? This will all be so slick when you see it on television. Survey said? <laughs> 23. <laughs> Something you get the news from instead of newspaper. Survey said? <laughs> That's a good score. Little <laughs> board. Stand right next to Lil Bone. We are looking for Vivian. <laughs> we want you to get the money, okay? Okay. Mind everyone the answers. Carlotta Davis, give me 20 seconds on the clock, please. Name something kids pressure their parents into buying. Bicycle. Something people lose at the beach. Rings. Something is made to be absorbent. Cotton. A food you boil. Eggs. Something you get the news from. Newspapers. Try again. Television. Turn around. You're a good player. Uh, <laughs> what a kid's pressure the parents into buying. You said a bike. Survey said. Eleven. Toys, number one answer. Something people lose at the beach. You said. Rings. Rings. Survey said. Eight. Money, number one answer. Something is made to be absorbent. You said. Cotton. Cotton. Survey said. Ten. Paper towels and towels, number one answer. Yeah. Food you boil, you said? Eggs. Eggs, number one answer, darling. Survey said? 
38. And something you get the news from. You said. TV. You need 47 points for the money. I'll tell you right now, it was the number one answer. Survey said. Here's Mama. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to let you hold the card there, darling. $10,384. And they were so happy, the Richter scale did an 8-7. <laughs> we'll see you here on the view. This is Gene. Okay, class, today we're going to talk about gravity. Gravity is what makes everything fall to the ground when you drop it. Machines and living things can convert stored energy into what? Jan. Jan. Electrons, protons, and neutrons are the three particles that make up an atom. Okay, Jan, for a chance at $50,000, which three particles make up an atom? You should have paid attention in school. Get schooled. Win tuition coming up next on Game Show Network.